what I'll do. I'm entering some data, like uh, we will take standard uh, information like product, product name. Something like uh, one PK. three regular discussion price, unit price, and uh, date on which date it got sold. Okay, I let product A, B, C, D, E, F. Like this, I'll give names. I'll repeat that. Okay. Like this, I have repeated it for twenty-five. Okay, overall twenty-five items I have taken. Okay. I'll give, uh, I'll filter data, I'll provide, uh, okay. So here, what I'll take, I'll take 20, oh, sorry, um, May 1st, 2023. So two entries like this. After that, two, sorry, May, May 2nd. 2023 so like this I'll enter data uh, and four May 4 okay so like that if I die in the yeah so till May 20th, I'm having sales information here. Okay. So product quantity 10, 11, 12, like this incrementally, I'll provide information. And here, here from here onwards, what I do, I'll take five, six, and, and here, I'll take a different year. Uh, I'll mark this one as year 2022, May 1st, May 2nd. See guys, I'm taking uh, sales information of two years, guys, 2022 as well as 2023 for these products, okay? So, so these are the unit prices okay i'll filter my data for a i'll for all a's i'll give in the year 2023 i'll give uh, prices 100 rupees and year 2022 i'll give prices 98 rupees okay and the same is the case with uh, other products because uh prices prices gets increased right so if it is uh, 55 rupees now then in the, of, in the next year price will be more okay this way i'm preparing my data I don't want to uh, use pre-existing data, guys. I want to make you people understand the data model first. I mean, data set, what kind of data it is containing, and uh, on this on this kind of data, what kind of insights that we can get, and what is uh, advantage of uh, DAX over this kind of data? What kind of insights that we can get? That's only intention. Okay. Yes, I'm audible. Yes, sir. Thank you. Audible. Yes, yeah, thank you, thank you. And for uh, 60, 60, I'll say 50, 50. And for product E, 500, 500. 450 and 450. Now tell me guys, what kind of data that we are preparing here? product sales information of multiple years, day-wise. Uh, see here, we are having data starting from May 1st, 2023 to May 10th, 2023. Similar way, May 1st, 2022 to May, 5th, May 10th, 2022. And uh, these are product names and quantities and uh, unit prices. Okay. This way we have prepared our data. X time intelligence. Functions. So here, five rows and select power BI. Save it. Yeah. Yeah. 
completed by this way clear guys clear with the data everyone clear with the data yes sir oh good yes sir yeah okay so now the expectation um, the end user expectation is business requirement is like create year wise sales information year wise sales information now what kind of grouping we have to do guys first each year wise data we have to consolidate let's suppose we are having 14 entries related to year 2023 14 entries related to year 2023 and what is the price information guys what is the total price how to arrive total price quantity into unit price, unit price. Unit price. this gives us total price okay i'm not i don't want uh, total price to be part of my data set because i can have this uh, value calculated at any point of time by using my quantity and unit price data but for your understanding purpose i'm adding here now tell me guys how many years we have here in our data two years what are those 2022 so this is these are my years and uh, what is my data uh, what is my total sales for the year 2023 so i'll filter year 2023 in the date column and whatever 145 and 77 is of 145 and 77 is of sales of year 2023 and for the year 2022 it is 120252 okay so this is the expected output this is the expected output by the business i mean business team having requirement like this guys give me a moment yeah so business wanted to see this data year wise the sale information year wise sale information and they also wanted to see this data in a graphical format okay so like i have selected this data i'm going and inserting a graph let's see see this way what they want to see see if you focus here it is saying value 145177 orange one is series 2 and blue one is series 1 120252 okay this way year and sales let's try to import this data in power bi guys remember uh, these values otherwise i'll take a snap of this give me the yeah. i'm removing all these additional columns how many columns data i'm having guys how many columns data we are having four columns four columns anyone there in the meeting lobby waiting no right talk yeah so i am loading so instead of uh having a common name like uh, sheet one i'll say sales data i'm naming my sheet name as sales data so this sheet name becomes in power bi what it what it will convert it into guys the sheet name becomes tell me yes perfect it becomes what is your name satish satish thanks sir no it not it updated let's see i'll save this with all other things yeah now it got updated sheet name becomes table so i'm selecting sheet name i'm directly clicking on load okay so without doing any aggregation power bi allows us to create the requested report this way 
a table or a graph. Let's see. I'm going to my data. So sales data is my table name. I'm having four columns and I'm having 24 rows data in my data model. Okay. I'm going to power view. Here I'm trying to insert a table, table visual. To this table visual, from my table data, from my table sales data, I wanted to add date and do we have a total price here guys? No, right? No. Go to your model and create total price measure. Instead of creating a total price for each row, you create a measure. Total price measure equal to Tell me guys, sales data, quantity, quantity, why, what is happening here, you miss it. Getting unit price, something wrong, guys. We're having only one table in the model, also, we're having only one model. Okay, let's try to add a new column and see whether it works. into unit yes. so for now I'll say I'll say total sales equal to this much and again I'll go here is equal to I guess we can use some x function for this. Uh, we can use some x function, but uh, I'm just thinking why auto session is not working in our case. That's the mm -hmm. only thing. Some x works here. Okay. But see here, guys. Here we are able to create a new column with the name total sales. Okay. Now go to power view. So we are having total sales information here. And add year and total sales. I'm selecting date. After that, I'm selecting total sales. Okay. So in the date, every component like year, quarter, month, day selected. But my expectation is like, I want to have only, I'm going to visual, I'm increasing font size. Okay. So let it be. And I am removing my quarter, month, day. I want to see my data only on the basis of year. See here guys, this one matching with our data 2022, 120, 252 and 2023, 1, 14 lakh, uh, sorry, 1 lakh 45,000, 177. Matching. matching. Matching, right? So this way Power BI allows us to create data or reports. But when you are doing this, what is happening internally for the year 2022, Whichever entries are there for the year 2022, whichever entries are there for all those entries, it is dynamically, dynamically summing up total sales information and then giving you the result this way. Because we are not having this data saved anywhere. We are having year-wise detailed sale information. And in the power uh, pivot, we are having data modeled this way. We are having 2022 year-wise sale entries, multiple sale entries. On top of those sale entries, it is summing up all the total sales information and giving you the result dynamically. Getting my point, guys? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, here, our data count is only 24 rows for now. Count of rows is only 24. But in real time, for a single year, we will be having lakhs of millions of rows available for a single year. 
like suppose if we take an example of dmart store dmart is operating uh, in different cities and different location inside the city and in, within a single location we will be having huge sales happening on daily basis and during festival season and during uh, month ends and month beginnings okay like and inside a single location we will be having more than 10 counters operating okay that that too that operates on a 14 to 16 hours uh, business hours okay so if you take the dmart scenario you will be having millions of records available in the data and if you build a visual like this on base, on the basis of your plain data then every time it is a painful task for power bi go and compute this total sales information for each year and group that information and present that here in this way here we are having only two years information two years related sales information and that to only 24 entries 10 entries of one year and 14 entries of other year but imagine every single year having millions of data and if you are having 10 years data how difficult for power bi to compute and give you power bi able to give you result it can compute it is having that capability but you have to optimize the usage of your power bi memory and processing also right for that guys getting my point clear everyone with my point yes ma'am okay. yeah okay. so to optimize it further in power query we were having hey, we were having an option called grouping by grouping we can create a separate table in power query but here with the dax we are having an additional function with the name summarize with which we can create a new table say i'm summarizing my data i'm taking a new table i'm summarizing I'm summarizing my table like using summarize formula and here i want to mention my table name my table name what is my table name sales data, sales data. okay in this sales data i want to group i want to group data based on date information based on date information so inside the date i am very much specific about year so your date is date column is date so how can you get uh, the date information by using year function on your date it's not allowing to write expression there okay so before this i'll do one thing i don't want to maintain this I'm deleting it from my model. I'm going to map data model and here I want to add a new column to fetch date sorry year information. What is the formula guys? Format. Either format or year. Year function. Year to year we have to pass date of your sales data table. So we have added year information here. Okay. So now, so then, uh, instead, uh, can we build a new table for date table? Ah, uh, we can build that. I'll come to that point. Yeah. I'll come to that point. So, we are having a new year column created using the date information from our data model. I'm going to, uh, sorry, I'm going to new table option. Here, in the new table option, I'm having year wise sales. I call this table as year wise sales. So here I'll aggregate my data using summarize function and I'll get result only once. I'll calculate result only once. So sales data is a table. In that table I'm having data. I have to group data based on sales year. Okay. And I want to give name like total sales. So you have to group data based on sales year and that sales data, the sales year grouping data sales here but what data you need to compute see this is my sale date on this sales year basis you have to group your quantity into unit price which is nothing but total price getting my point guys so here grouping criteria is year see here yeah this way the grouping criteria is year based on year you group the data and by while grouping the data which particular value you want to see 
nothing but this one into this. So what we are telling? Group data based on year column. So in the year column, we are having only two years, 2023 and 2022. So for this year, 2023, grouped sales information, which is nothing but 145117. See here. And this is name of the new column. Sales year comma, total sales is the name of the column. And I am telling in the sales data, you group total price. Total sales. Sum of total sales. Enter. See here guys. What I am saying? For each sales year, sum up the total sales information. Now I am getting the results same like this. And I will construct this table only once. And see here, the second parameter, the grouping criteria column will become your first column, sales year. And total sales, the name of the column, this way. And under this column, you will get value this way. Whatever the expression you have written, sum of total sales. Getting my point, guys? Yes, getting my yes. point? You can mention multiple criteria to group your data. See, along with sales here, I'll say product also. I'll use product. Sales here comma product and I'll hit enter. See here, in the year 2022 for product A, this is the sales. In the year 2022 for product B, this is the sales. So overall, overall, we are having 24 entries in our data. But when we group our data based on sales year and the product name, our total output count is 12 rows. Is clear? Now, I'll remove product name because my requirement is not this. The requirement is only on sales year wise data. I'm going to power view. I'll remove this, uh, sorry, I'll select this one. I'll remove the data binded to this visual. Now, I'll select year information, sorry, in the year wise sales, I'll select only sales year and total sales. And here, I'll say don't summarize, do not summarize. Okay, first total sales, let it summarized. So now, how many records will be verified to get this, to give this output guys? Because we are using the data from year by sales information data table, which is created using summarize formula. Is clear? Yes, sir. So summarize works this way. Summarize accepts table. So grouping criteria column. Grouping column one. Grouping column two like this, you can mention multiple columns. And calculated column name. After that, what calculation you want to carry out? Actual calculation. So in our case, what a sales data is? Sales data is table name. And grouping criteria is this one. And total sales is total sales is your calculated column name. This formula. So here it is omitted, optional. Clear guys? Summarize creates a new table and these are the parameters that we need to pass. Is clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Now, I am going back to my data models and I am seeing my sales data. Now, how many calculated columns we have added here in our data? Total sales. And? Total sales is a new column and 
sales here is one more column we have added to our data model our data model containing was containing only four columns data earlier okay now here i wanted to know what is the maximum selling item from my total sales how can i understand that i can go to my total sales column i can start descending if i start my data maximum selling item will come, maximum sold item will come at top 82500 which is of year 2023 and product is f and see here second entry is of year 2022 68600 but i don't like this because i need data i need this top selling item year wise in the year 2023 what is the top selling item and in the year 2022 what is the top selling item this why i need information getting my point guys yes sir yes sir so for that purpose we are having a function with the name rank x going to table tools i'm creating a new column i'm giving rank sales rank also rank x is a function x a table so what is a table name sales data and expression on what basis you want to uh, evaluate the rank guys total sales total sales and which order you need year so you see here there is a value parameter it is saying returns a rank of an expression evaluated in the current context of the list of values so on the basis of date let's suppose if we give and order ascending here i'm choosing dense for now let's see let's do not interfere with value first i'm keeping that value as an empty one see here guys let's sort your data this way see now the minimum selling as we have chosen ascending rank x assigning it is not group grouping our data guys i thought like uh, uh, we will get ranking information based on year in year 2023 this is the ranking information in year 2022 this is the ranking information uh, i will get you the details as well see here it is giving you the rank information what we what we have given here sales data is a table in this table based on total price column based on this total price column okay based on this total price column give me ranking information in the ascending order whenever you say ascending it is taking the least sales item as a first rank if i say dsc descending order i'm hitting enter top selling item given with the rank 1 and see here guys the parameter dense we have given here with this what happens if we are having see can uh, can anyone uh, find any difference like repeated ranks here in this column repeated ranks one what is the rank number repeated ranks no sir no sir 13 13 is repeated 13 is repeated 17 13 repeated 13 and 17 repeated okay why go to 13 column 13th rank column and see the total price okay these two lines are having same total price that's why rank got repeated that's why rank got repeated if rank is not repeated guys after 13 ideally what rank we have to get for this row the next row 14 14 but it is not the case as the say total sales is the criteria for ranking and the total price is same for these two rows it has assigned rank 13 and for the next value after 882 whatever uh, Uh, value total price is there for that it has assigned 40 clear yes ma'am see here for this case also 17 17 total price is 600 600 that's why it has assigned rank as 17 17 after that for the next value it has assigned rank 18 now i'll create a 
one more rank column. Suman, I have a small doubt here. Yeah, please. Then rank function, in order to get uh, year wise, uh, can we either use switch or if logical function? Yeah, you can apply, you can mix any DAX function, all applicable DAX functions, and we can achieve anything almost yeah. with the data. Okay. See here, guys, the possible values are dense and skip for the last parameter. Now, see here, guys, are we seeing any difference here? See here, guys. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, 10, 11, 12, 12, 13, 13. Yes, sir. For 14 case, we are have, we're seeing a difference. It is not assigning 14. See, dense parameter rank. Dense parameter rank is not working same as skip parameter rank. See, 13 is repeated how many times? Two times. Two, two, times. two times. After 13, what, could, what is the expected value? 14. 14. 14. 14. That got ruled out. So it has skipped to 14 and it is started assigning the next rank. What if my 13 got repeated thrice, three times? And what is the expected rank here? Uh, 16. 16. Perfect. Thank you. 16. And see, after 15, 16, 17, 18, 18. And after 18, 18 repeated additionally how many times? Additionally how many times? Only One more once. time. One time. One time. So ideally, uh, Ideally, in the place of that additional repetition, what is the rank expected over there? 19. 19 got skipped and 20 got assigned for the next value. This way, skip and dense works, guys. Dense will keep assigning repeated rank for the criteria column on the basis of total price column. And it will not skip the next rank. It will start assigning the next rank after repetition dense ranks and whereas skip rank will repeat the rank for the same values but it will skip the next ranks based on how many times its previous count rank got repeated and it will assign that skipped next rank skipped value next to the repeated value rank clear guys clear the clear with the difference guys yes yes sir now, I'm going to formula pane. I'm pasting it here. So, rank x containing table column rank criteria based on which you have to give rank. And the third one is value. For now, it is leave empty, leave option. And Starting, ascending or descending. And the last thing, see here. If I remove this, it's saying ice as skip pile say. For now, instead of types, you can select type. What are the possible types? Then, sir, skip. Okay. And here, in our case, we have used sales data as a table. In this table, on the basis of sales data, call, total sales column, assign the ranks. Okay. If it is ascending, what happens, guys? Minimum value assigned will be assigned with top rank. Guys, guys, clear with this? Minimum value will be assigned with top rank. If it is descending, maximum value will be assigned with top rank. See here, guys. See here. The data will also be started, guys. Your data will also be sorted. Okay. See here, guys. We, as we have mentioned, descending. What happened? Maximum total sales assigned with the top rank. If you say ascending, what happened, guys? 300. Minimum value will be assigned with top rank. 
and see here why your skip rank uh, given 24 what happened because in the skip rank we have used descending descending order that's why maximum value will be given with first value so for the both of them i'll make descending and after this i'm meeting enter guys see here this rank ending with 22 whereas this rank is ending with 24 see 24 ranking like whichever my total row count is that rank is getting matched with my skip rank but with the dense rank it is not matching the total row count and the rank because repeated and rank not skipped repeated ranks are skipping getting skipped to match with the data as a row count clear everyone yes sir so dense will do what guys repeat rank but retains which that which means like it won't skip it ends a next rank and skip repeats the rank for same values but skips a rank is clear with this yes sir is to okay guys do practice you will get lots of lots of uh, additional uh, information in youtube or uh, google okay i'll try to provide my best details to you like a few exercises all kind of things to have you people get more control over these concepts but my suggestion is like you people on your own go and try to understand the different different scenarios that people are trying over internet using summarize and rank functions these are very important function guys okay clear guys clear yes sir thank you this is about summarize and ranks functions and the moon these two columns i hope like you people are uh, clear about like what is the advantage to summarize and create a summarized table summarize the table in a data model and using that table you can present report so only two records are necessary in our case to present this report it won't summarize data on the sales information okay and other thing we have seen is how to get how to create how to create a new table using summarize function and you can summarize multi you can summarize your data based on multiple columns you can summarize your data based on multiple columns okay yeah so guys that's all for the day i'm having a call uh, today to attend uh, so 